Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, probably noticed me wearing the same thing from my other video because I just recorded a sit down with me um, going over some tips that I'd like to share to elevate your home and some of the things that I did personally to um, when I first moved into my home to make it feel more custom. So be sure to look out for that video and make sure you go watch that. Um, so I wanted to do a vlog style to share some um, little things I've been doing recently, um, like home decor updates, I guess. So um, I'm currently working on a project to add a water dispenser in my um, my laundry room. So um, it sounds very odd. <laughs> and you're going to see, um, I'll show you in a minute to see what that's going to look like. But um, we found this water filter at a discounted store. Um, it typically retails for like something insane, like over a thousand, close to two or something like that. And we bought it for like 200. So um, it feels like such a luxury to have that. But because it was so, we found it, like, a, like I said, um, for so cheap at a discounted store, we thought it would be such a great idea to have it in our home, especially upstairs to you know, like those late nights um, when you're in bed, you're like thirsty, you don't want to go downstairs. Um, <laughs> lazy people things, I know we've all been there. Um, and so having it be in the convenience of like that area. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys, take you on the journey of like make, turning that space around and adding that and um, stay tuned for that. So I'm upstairs now uh, in the laundry room. I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek of um, the water dispenser that I'm adding in here. And um, there's so much work. Right now, the progress it has done is my husband cut out a hole in the wall to install it. And then we had an electrician come in to add power, um, to connect it to the power. And the next step is waiting for a plumber to come connect it to the water. Um, and after that, we're going to add in a cabinet. Um, so let me show you guys. So this is what it's looking right now. So um, once the plumber is done with his part, pretty much what we're gonna do is add a cabinet down here, I mean, uh, below it, and um, countertop, and be able to like, Add, accessorize it a little and like make it more functional with like storage for the filter and maybe create like a little tea nook and have like beverages in there and things like that so I'm very excited for this project and how it's gonna turn out so I'll insert some clips of like my husband putting it into the wall and um, what that looked like and yeah So now we're back downstairs and I wanted to walk you guys through um, um, something new that we add in our backyard and this is more for like 
the parents here <laughs> who's gonna care about this but um we have we had to get our daughter a play set um to keep her entertained in the evenings and weekends and things like that so i found the perfect play set that is aesthetic and goes with the exterior of my home and i want to show you guys um like how to get like one of those bulky items such as a play set and not not have and have it still be aesthetic so hold on a second so it was way too bright outside and hot um so yeah i really like the playset because it has um it has like a playhouse underneath like it has the the picnic seat area plus the kitchenette and the tube slide so and it's not very is it bulky a little um but the way that we positioned it in the back, it's not like an eyesore. So um, like it was very space efficient. Um, so that like it really, as you can see, it was like a white and black. My house is white and black. So the exterior definitely blend well with like our house. Um, so if you're interested, I'm going to leave that in the link in the bio. So you can also look at it and check it out yourself. Yeah, so a little bit about myself is that I am a product manager for a large investment bank and so today I'm working remotely. Well, for the most part, I do work remotely um, and I have an office in, um, near me that I can go to a couple times a week to kind of switch it up. But today we're working from home and yeah, this is kind of like, um, I guess, getting to know me a little bit more while also showing you some updates that i have going on and, and fun projects too when it comes to water filter that's going to be so exciting um and probably something you have never thought about before um i know the price tag is insane like if you look it up but um potentially you can find it like at a discount store like we did and yeah so maybe something like in the future to consider so okay so i wanted to show you all my <laughs> I wanted to show you all my OOTD. Um, nothing crazy. I'm wearing just a romper and a button down shirt underneath um, because I feel like you can never go wrong with a button down, oversized button down. It just kind of like adds a little something to an outfit, even though it's just like basics. I guess this is like uh, elevated basics. <laughs> and so you get to still be comfortable, but like look put together. And like I think accessorizing too is like really um, important to um, make the outfit pop. So um, it's really nothing special, but I think that's kind of like the point of like of elevate elevated basics is just basic this pieces that just looks like you did something, but when you really did it. <laughs> so that is. Um, yeah, that's kind of like what I have on. It's just, so if you work from home and you want to pop in a quick meeting for like with your colleagues, this is something great to wear and be comfy and presentable. And um, if you want to like button it up or leave it open like I do, like I have it here, I think those are like all great options. So you can never go wrong with an oversized button down. So... I guess for the rest of my day it's really um focus on getting some work done with my nine to five and um having that errand i need to run to and my daughter picking her up from school um i can't wait to see her reaction for um the playset because she doesn't know about that and she's gonna be so surprised when she comes back um Another fact about the playset is we had someone come here to build it and uh, it, the, the guy came here, he got here at 7 a.m. and he wasn't done till 2.30 or actually no, 2. So from 7 to 2, he was like working on it nonstop, did not take a break or nothing. And I'm like, I'm just really glad um, 
we were able to outsource it because um, my husband also has a nine to five and like for him to um, spend time like building it like he does other stuff but like especially with the um, patio that he just um, the back porch project as you guys saw um, he's a little tapped <laughs> and he's also doing the um, the um, upstairs water faucet filtration thing so we definitely needed to outsource some things so it's okay to like balance it out of like you know um i know in some areas it is good to save some costs um labor costs and but like other areas other areas where like the place that was extremely tedious work um with like building all putting all these pieces together so i would definitely say outsource when you feel like it nothing wrong with that um so definitely a believer of outsourcing <laughs> so yeah um that's really my day um i don't have um oh um actually i need to show you guys um so recently we've been trying to figure out how to get rid of flies around our house and um i purchased this thing to help like catch flies um so i was trying to like i saw this on amazon i think it's called the safer eye home so it's like this you plug it in and in the back the flies are supposed to stick to this and some way somehow it's supposed to attract flies and it's barely working i'm like a lot of people are talking about it it's highly rated it's on amazon like as this like top recommended bestseller and it's not doing anything <laughs> so um yeah so i need to find another not something else to um get these flies out of my home they're not paying rent <laughs> yesterday i one of our neighbors actually dropped off like a basket that was like um you've been booed and to pass it along to other neighbors like by also creating them a, a basket so this is the first time i'm partaking in something like that and like um because i am new in this community so um i have to there's like a time crunch to get everything you need to put in the basket so i'm about to go um get all these things um to make sure that i'm not like slowing down this process i don't know <laughs> So now I'm like, okay, so what do we even get? Like, what do you put in a you've been mood basket? Like, what does that look like? So I'm about to look it up on Pinterest or something to figure it out. Um, and I'll show you guys what I'm getting and like putting all that together. So um, I think next time, so my first stop is going to be Best Buy, like I said, for um, the camera accessory and then also Target to pick up the um, some of the things that I'm going to add in the basket. So I'll probably open, see you guys at Target um, to show like a little shop with me as I do that or if it's too packed and I get shy <laughs> about pulling out the camera then I'll give a little haul of me putting it together when I get back home. I finally made it to Target. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me well but um, there is some stuff here I'm seeing that are so cute um, and on the for the throw pillows like I don't know why I just love a good throw so I want to show you guys some pieces here that I feel like um, would be really great to purchase um, so to start like this color um, I think like in person it's like a dark like a charcoal gray but like on a white couch I just feel like well even on like a gray couch too like it would just be so pretty um, yeah it's like um, I think it's going for twenty dollars for two like these two and then this one like wow very modern um let's continue oh 
hope I don't get any weird looks. <laughs> so this, for example, looks so good. Yeah. Definitely giving fall. And this color too. And I saw this pedestal. Kind of want it, like for oil, to, like sit oil and vinegar on. That'd be so cute. And how much is it? Doesn't show. So for these pillows, like they're really nice for fall. I actually have two of them, and they had um, they had them in green. But they don't they no longer have it here. So um yeah, and also they have um these this throw, it's so soft, like and I think it's really affordable too. Um let's see the price on that. Um I don't see it. It's really good. And then these um other figurines. I wouldn't add those in my home, but yeah, they have that. Oh my goodness! I this is so pretty. It has like um the different sides has that thing. I like this more than that, so I have this at home. But I like this more. <laughs> so I'm really into um, serving wear because like just hosting you just um, I don't know I like to have nice um, serving wear and look how cute this is like this pumpkin for fall and like it's a lid and you can bake in, in there like um, I don't know um, dessert like apple crisp apple something like that I don't know but it's really pretty and also have this it has like some gold detail on the edge and like these little speckles I don't know if you can see well um, I think this would be really nice for like um, some dips that you want to add like an assortment of dips that would be really good and we also have it in like these like different this is a yeah server platter so this is like actually the smaller size and also the gold detail too um, and the speckles on there this this is a smaller size of the serverware and they have like a larger one too and they also have these small plates um, show small plates um, which is I'm not seeing the price but um, it's really pretty I kind of want it I already have some at home so <laughs> but these are appetizer plates and they're all microwave safe Another pedestal thing. Uh, um, I'm wondering, I think this probably is for like putting hot plates on there instead of like like on a dining table you want to put some hot plates. This is such a cute find. So they have like this um, salt and pepper um, dispenser. It's and it's like marble at the bottom and like the wood it's just so cute and then this mortar um, mortar and pestle like if you want to make like guacamole or like something so it's like you can uh, prep it in here and also like it's cute to serve this with like I don't know to people too I've seen these on Amazon. It's ribbed. Um, it's like a water pitcher or like karaf. Um, and they usually have them with like a lid that serves as a cup too. 
but this one doesn't so I don't know if it's worth it because the Amazon ones that I've seen has the cup that serves as the, the glass so this kind of sucks that they don't it just comes like this <laughs> so I just got back um, from Target and also picking up my daughter from school um, she's with her dad now but um, I wanted to give a quick haul of everything that I picked up from Target so um, I know that I <laughs> originally I said I was gonna go for the um, neighborhood you've been booed um, activity family activity and I did find a lot of good things for that and I picked up some some goodies so um, thankfully like the Target section is really good about like um, keeping up with like holiday stuff so um, so yeah if you're if you're doing anything like this in your neighborhood or like with your family members definitely go to Target in the dollar section they have so many good things so I found this like um, jelly bag and it has like bat on it and on here it has like you've been booed you can see that okay and then it has on the back to and from um yeah so i thought it was really cool that they already had um a designated a designated bag to put stuff for like you've been boot activity so that was great and it was only five bucks so um and yeah, the other things i got so the family I'm going to give it to, they have a, a, a little boy, so I got this um, Spider-Man um, activity, it was like a, it's like some type of set, so this was affordable, and I know he loves Spider-Man, and I also got this like, it's like a fall activity artist pad, it has like puzzles, and um, you can color on it, and a lot of different fall theme um, activity type things in here uh, so great for kids and saw this too it was so cute like um, it pretty much lights up and so when it's lit up I guess the outline of this the light will radiate through here and that looks really good um, so I think like giving it to the family to decorate their house or like put it um, on an entryway table or dining table or I um, kitchen wherever it's cute. <laughs> um, this was so cute. Um, uh, happy, happy Halloween. It's a set of two dish towels. This one um, very on theme with um, Halloween so the color scheme I guess. Um, so yeah, I thought it was really nice. Um, I got this tumbler so they can drink wine. I don't know. I think it was like a cute, cute tumbler. That was also like, it's like a terracotta color. So on theme with Halloween and Halloween colors. So this is also like another little thing I got for the kid. It's a flashlight and Spider-Man because he does love Spider-Man. Um, also got this candle, it's Stinging Nettle, um, yeah, it, it <laughs> I can't really describe the smell, but it smells really good, so, um, scented candle with thorny roses and ambered musk, oh, okay, that's what I'm picking up, like, the ambered musk, I, I can really pick that up, it smells really good, I wish it, they came in a bigger size but this is also like a cute size to put in a gift basket the you've been booed basket i have like a couple more things i want to add in there like candy um a bottle of wine so i still have to do some final touches before i can actually drop it off but now we move on to me getting distracted at target and getting things for myself so um so yeah these were I picked this up um, so it's like this um, long sleeve shirt that has this nice detail in the front um, yeah a little different so can't wait to dress this up um, and the next thing is so it's a dressy satin blouse 
so it is like beautiful burgundy color i just feel like it looks so good on my skin tone um it's um let me try to try it on real quick So, this is what it looks like. It's a little bit oversized from, like, well, the sleeves are a bit long. Um, I think it could be, like, this is a large, only because they didn't have a medium, and I really liked it. So I wanted to um, make it work. But um, I feel like it's not too bad, like, if I were to put it, tuck it in um some trousers so but it's just the sleeve i feel like the sleeve is massive like um yeah so this is what this looks like let me know if i should return it or keep it this is i don't know yeah comment in the co um comment below and let me know if i should keep it i just feel like the satin silk and the color is just so captivating and the next thing it's like also playing on satin um trend or this skirt um so this is a split silk shirt i mean sh skirt <laughs> um so i i the split goes up like not too high I think it's like okay and so still in this theme of like back to work um, I do have a work trip coming up um, for my nine to five so this I don't I'm not sure if like I would really um, wear these to the office because um, the office that I'm going to the headquarters is very business and not really business casual so um i don't know about like i feel like these may be pushing it for work um i would like i feel like casually um i these are like super cute i don't know if it's showing up well okay so casually i feel like these are so cute to just like throw on with some cute basics and like I can like definitely see this with like um, a dress, some trousers, or like shorts, um, skirt. Like there's this is such a good like quick throw on, and but like when it comes to work, because of how um, my office is, it's more business than casual. I would probably wear these like if I'm wearing heels throughout the day, I would put these on to walk in the office and switch into my heels and when I'm leaving, switching to these to go home. So, um, but this is very, very cute. But if you're in a, like, a business casual setting, I, I think these would work. So, um, the other one, I like getting these. They're so cute. Like, I feel like these I would actually keep on at work because they are they have the back and they're really comfortable too so um yeah i think these would work like in a business setting plus a business or a business casual setting and outside of work i would wear them too like i would wear them like to brunch or coffee shop um yeah so i think these are really cute for fall and very on trend um i also have them i on I have a pair from Steve Madden as well, so um, they're the one that I have from Steve Madden has a little bit of a heel, and this one is more flat, so that's why I really like this for work. Um, yeah. So the last two things I got. Um, <laughs> so this one, this is more so for my daughter. <laughs> I wanted to get her some slippers for like just around the house. Um, and they're so fuzzy and cute. I love the, it's like a muted pink taupey color. Um, 
I love that. And so this one. Okay, yes. Um, so I think it's hard to see through, but like, so this is a um, mist and it's like multi-purpose. So you can use it for your hair, um, body, or your bedding, your linen. And um, I feel like it's mostly, it's like this, this is a, in the scent cashmere vanilla. And it really gives like such a good fall scent. Like it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like, it's, it's so good. Um, I think this is like good to have on the go if you feel like you want to freshen up um, and just like spray it everywhere like hair to bottom so um, or even like an everyday I would wear this like probably spray this on before bed after a shower yeah let me know if you want to see more like vlog style like this of um, different aspects of my life like with the home updates and um, balancing work um, and life and um, I think that overall I do want to like bring in more lifestyle content as well but with the integrated with um, home home decor home um, projects and all those things so um, yeah I think <laughs> I'm gonna close out the vlog finally because I can keep talking um, I have to go be a mom now. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you sticking around uh, through the end. <laughs>